and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel today as you can probably tell i'm gonna be doing a little easter activities video for age regressors these are all things you can do by yourself but you can also do with a caregiver or friend or loved one and i'm joined by sherbert who is looking very cute in her little fairy princess outfit and i have some other bunnies back here i have no shortage of just like bunny love and spring love and Easter excitement. I'm also wearing my own ears, though you can't really see what I set up. But yeah, also be doing a sort of more generic spring themed activities video because it's officially spring, which makes me very, very, very happy and excited. But for now, we're gonna focus on Easter activities. The first one, very obvious probably, Easter coloring pages. If you don't have like a coloring book that has Easter pages in it or sort of like spring or bunny themed stuff in it, you can just go online and like print out downloadable versions of them. There's tons of them free online. I think even like the Crayola website has a bunch. And if you don't have access to a printer in your home, a lot of like libraries or like even like CVS maybe or Staples like will often print stuff for free. And along with coloring pages, there's also a bunch of like activity pages and stuff you can do. And if you don't feel comfortable like going and getting them printed, you can also get like coloring apps on your phone or if you have a tablet and then you can just color them digitally. Another really fun thing to do if you're up for it is make yourself a color page or if this is like one that you could do if you have like a caregiver or friend have them draw you a coloring page or and then also like you can do one for them too and then swap and then color each other's pages that's something that my caregiver and I really love to do and I'm lucky because he's very artistic and very good at it and I'm not <laughs> but I always get the cutest coloring pages from him and we do we like to theme them for the holidays and stuff next also very crafty as all of my activity suggestions usually are if you don't have like access to eggs, like I'm vegan, I don't like dye real eggs or anything. And if you don't have plastic ones, go out and go on a scavenger hunt to find rocks that look like eggs. And then you can paint the rocks instead of eggs. And then they'll look really cute like later if you wanna like put them in your yard or in your garden or whatever, or even just like around your house. Literally so fun and so cute. And I feel like it's a really like environmentally friendly alternative to like other things that involve eggs. Another thing that I like doing for every holiday is making a stuffed animal version. So you could have stuffed animal Easter and like play pretend. So you can pick, designate one of your stuffed animals to be the Easter bunny. If you don't have a bunny stuffed animal, but you have a headband or some wire, you can just like cut out bunny ears, honestly, and just like have them wear them. But yeah, tuck your other stuffed animals into bed like they're going to sleep on, you know, Easter Eve or whatever, and then have your stuffed animal Easter bunny go and hide little paper eggs that you can like just cut out of construction paper or whatever. Hide them around the house and then have your stuffed animals look for them when they wake up. Next make yourself or a friend an Easter basket. If you don't have access to a basket or you don't want to spend money on materials, you could honestly use like a cardboard box or something and then just like paint it or decorate it. And you can even just like find stuff from around the house and instead of making it like, here's this gift sort of, just being like, here's like this like themed fun thing that you can display in your home. Also, caregivers out there if you're watching, <laughs> do a scavenger hunt, do an egg hunt for your partner who regresses make them an Easter basket. Making the holidays like special again is such a great opportunity to like heal and rewire and also just like have fun and make memories together. So I really, really recommend if you guys are into holidays, which you probably are if you're watching this video, to make them special for your partner who regresses. Next, another thing I think is really fun that's also just kind of spring in general, which maybe I'll, I'll also put in my spring activities video, is to make a found bouquet, which is kind of again in this sort of like egg hunt scavenger hunt like easter vibe which is basically to like go into your yard or into your neighborhood and find like flowers or plants and put them together in a bouquet and it's really fun and you don't have to spend money on flowers or anything at the store a few of my friends who come and visit always when they're leaving like before they go always leave me with a found bouquet it's really cute i'll put a picture of one of the ones they made me recently so you can kind of get an idea of it if you have like ribbon you can like tie the ends and then put it in like a vase or if you don't have a vase you can even just like use like a glass that you use for water next have an easter themed picnic bring your bunny stuffed animals your spring themed stuffed animals whoever and have a little picnic either outside or honestly inside depending on what the weather's like and you can have like easter themed foods like candy and jelly beans and stuff or like whatever like have a little themed pic picnic moment 
and sort of kind of in that same vein maybe a little also do a little like easter hide and seek with your stuffed animals this you can do alone if you want to do it from like the play pretend angle of like you know you're gonna hide your stuffed animals and then search for them or you can like have your stuffed animal one of your stuffed animals search for the other ones and you can help them whatever but if you do have a caregiver or someone who would want to do this with you you know you can like close your eyes count to 10 and then they can hide your stuffed animals around and then you can go and seek them which is sort of again in like the scavenger hunt like just that kind of theme for easter <laughs> and yeah those are all the ideas i have if these sounded lame <laughs> honestly if you just google like easter activities to do with kids a whole bunch of stuff will come up and if you want more crafts you can also just like look up diy or crafts and there's tons of really cool ideas online so yeah i hope you have a really good easter i hope this video was helpful at all i do have more advice stuff coming up as always like everything also as always more stuff on patreon because that's where i feel the most comfortable putting my full length content and yeah as always i love you thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one and happy easter